Hey everybody, in here. Um, I heard the chickens out there running around, and the puppies, Papa. No, I didn't see Papa, but I saw Junior relentlessly chasing some chickens around. And then I went out, and I saw Papa. <coughs> and he had one of the Easter eggers in his mouth. I got him to drop it, and she was... She wasn't dead yet, but she was, she was very close, so I did, I did what I had to do, and I put her out of her misery. There was no way she was going to come back from this, and I'm not going to have another chicken suffer. So, I did what I needed to do. I just snipped her scissors. Um, so, Doug and Violet are coming over there, over here right now, to teach me... I figure this is a bit a good time to um, figure out how to do the next steps. I don't know what happened. I don't know why Papa did that. He's. I need to get a hold of myself, and then I'll be back. I have gotten a hold of myself. Uh, Doug and Violet did. They came right over and taught me what I needed to do to best utilize. Well, this chicken. And, uh, yeah, so, I mean, when they were on their way over, I put a big pot on to boil. Um, but turns out we didn't really have to end up using it because Doug just basically cuts in certain places and then skins it. Um, and the feathers come off with, so all I had to do, and then he cut apart. There was part of it that wasn't usable because it had been chewed on. It was just not sal salvageable. Um, but he cut off a big breast, uh, both the legs were good, both the wings were good, um, the neck was good, the giblets and all that kind of stuff. So, um, I just washed them off the rest of the way, plucked off the rest of the feathers, and, um, it's now in the crock pot. Yes, it is now in the crock pot, and, um, this is my first 100% homegrown meal that I'm going to have. A little bittersweet, but... You, you want to know something? I'm going to be able to do this whole chicken harvesting thing without a pro... Sunny? Without a problem. Um, it was actually very fascinating. Uh, once you get in on the inside, there were a bunch of little eggs. It was good to see the biology. Um, there were eggs forming that were, that were going to come out one day. Um... And he showed me what not to cut. I'm going to have to practice. The next time I actually do it myself, um, I'm going to have him there and just to watch me. But absolutely no problems at all whatsoever. Um, the, 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 the first part is the hardest part, and that is putting them down. And like somebody had suggested to me, I got myself a nice sharp pair of scissors, and that worked perfect. Sonny is, he doesn't like anybody getting up next to him. So, yeah, uh, this happened a little bit sooner than I thought it would, but now I know. I'm not going to have any issues at all harvesting chickens, harvesting roosters for their meat, um, because there's really nothing to it. It's, it's not gross. It doesn't smell funny. Um, it's just going to take a little bit of practice, but I'm going to practice. So, about who did this, um, what I think happened... Uh, because uh, my, my neighbor's dogs weren't even anywhere near my property when this happened. I think that Sonny and Junior went after a chicken and got one. Because they were chasing the chickens and, and Junior was in a mode. Not Sonny, but Junior was in a weird mode going towards the chickens and he wouldn't listen to me. Normally I call out and I say, leave it. Um, but I, I think that something got into him today. Um, and he just went after the chickens. He got a um, one of the Easter eggers, and I think Papa maybe just had it and was bringing it back to me. Um, I don't know, because Papa has never, ever shown an interest in these chickens. So I think it was the puppies, and Papa was just, you know, he got caught basically holding the bag. Um, but they were scolded very harshly. Um, Yes, not one of my finer moments once again, but I need to teach these dogs not to go after these chickens. So 
Um, they're not going to be able to roam free anymore unless I'm right there standing watching them. Um, especially Junior, because I think this was a Junior deal. Watching him go after those chickens and me, um, you know, calling after him and him not listening. Um, there needs to be some serious repercussions for that dog if this ever happens again. But I need to catch it while it happens. It's too late now. You know, you, if you don't catch them right when they're doing something, that they're not going to understand what you're reprimanding them for. But all other chickens are um, accounted for, and um, they're doing fine. I'm actually quite proud of myself that I was able to do what I had to do today. And going forward, you know, I, I think God blessed me today, actually. It was traumatic for me, for the chicken, but it's ended well. It's ending well. And I've got a beautiful crock pot of chicken going right now. I think I'm going to, well, it's going to cook all day. Um, and I think I'm going to make some chicken and rice with it. I'm just going to let it stew in there, create a nice stock, um, and then add, I've already add herbs, you know, and seasonings, all from my, either from my garden or, yeah, from my garden, except for the salt and pepper. Um, so it's going to be tasty. I'm going to have a tasty meal today. And the other stuff, the other parts of the chicken that I really couldn't use, I've got them in another pot boiling. And I am likely to cut that up and feed it to the dogs. Um, nothing is going to go to waste. Um, I think that the chickens can even eat chicken bones. Once they've gotten really, really soft, I can um, cut them up and... Um, I think it's good for them to eat, but I'm going to have to investigate how to do that. So, kind of a weird day. Yeah, I think so. Not the video I was planning on making, that's for sure. But like I said, it's a blessing, you know. Um, I was already kind of in the mindset of uh, harvesting chickens. And I think God said, you know, we, we need to act on this now, girlfriend. We, while, while you got your courage up, um, put your money where your mouth is. We're, we're going to give you a way to learn how to do this. And, you know, I could have just done nothing with the chicken, but instead it's going to provide me sustenance. So, well, I think I'm just going to enjoy the sunshine and uh, come back a little bit later. Today has turned out to be a beautiful day. The weather is very mild, barely a breeze in the air. I started the chicken in the uh, crock pot, but I brought it outside I got a perfectly good fireplace and wood, so I'm finishing up the chicken <laughs> on the fire pit, which, I don't know, kind of makes me happy. I've already tasted the stock, and it is absolutely delicious. This is going to be a beautiful, beautiful meal for me and my doggies. Well, actually, I've already fed them some because I, I uh, took the other parts and boiled it up in this here pot and um, added some rice and uh, mixed it in with our dog food and they loved it. So the rest of the stuff for human consumption is in there and it's cooking and it just smells so delicious. So you know what, this, this has all been a good thing. Even though I'm kind of bummed at the way that this all happened, you know, it uh, made me grow up. It made me grow more. And uh, so I'm gonna be able to do this, yep. I am. In fact, my neighbor called me and they hatched out some baby chicks. Yes, the one with Roman. Remember Roman the rooster? Oh, he's so beautiful. He is the most beautiful barred rock rooster I've ever seen. Um, anyhow, he said, well, we've one of the chicks was a rooster and they can't have the rooster. The rooster's all by himself right now. And I says, I can't raise any more chickens. I mean, roosters. Um, if I hatch out chicks, they're going to go in a pen and they'll be harvested. And he says, well, if you want to come pick this one up. So, you know what? Um, I had thought about calling Doug and Violet back again. Um, and I am going to call them back again. In a few days, I'm going to go get that chicken, that rooster. And um, I am going to do the whole process of harvesting a chicken, start to finish. Now, I'm not going to film it. Um, Oh, I, I think I may film him telling me what to do, but y'all don't need to see that all, all that stuff. Um, me, it's fascinating. Me, I, I find it fascinating. Um, it's like, well, if I can clean fish, <laughs> and I wasn't any more grossed out by what I did today as I was cleaning a fish. So, 
I think still kind of weirded out just a teensy bit about it but um I'm gonna I'm gonna take care of this situation with the dogs I'm gonna figure it out um I'm gonna figure out the situation with the dogs one way or the other but I got a nice pot of chicken going and um I don't know chicken noodle soup there's a lot of stock so I may can some of the stock but um it's turned out to be okay you guys and I'm okay and everything is going to be okay. Anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.